Hello everyone and welcome to Snowstorm Studios. It is Billy here with John and today we are here to talk to you about the new DLC coming in August called Shadow of the Hist. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about it, John? Sure, so if you're all about the Argonian life, you're going to be super stoked because it's all about Argonian dungeons. Yeah. <laughs> They're adding two new ones in Black Marsh. Called, um, and, uh, their names are uh, the Cradle of Shadows, which is a... Uh, Dark Brotherhood style dungeon where we are going to work alongside the Argonians and the Dark Brotherhood in getting some rogue members that are besmirching their name. And then the other one is called the Ruins of Mazatan. In this one, we will go to Mazatan and uh, free some slaves from some pretty crazy owners that are making them do some pretty crazy stuff. Dark Elves. Oh no, it's, it's Argonians who are enslaving Argonians. Oh no. Yeah. So, it usually should be Dark Elves, but Ar <laughs> Argonians are kind of crazy themselves and it's True. funny that's really the only thing that's come with the dlc is these two new dungeons so it'll be a little cheaper when we get to be able to when we're able to purchase it in the crown store because we're not getting a right. whole lot of added content but update 11 is actually huge and we're getting a lot of cool new stuff that we're uh, really excited to let you guys know about so um but we'll dive into that and the first one being console chat added for pvp Finally. And this has been something we have wanted for a long time, being former um, PC players. We know what the chat is worth, and we really need it in our PvP and our console games because it's a really good way to talk to your team and your alliance and really strategically plan for your attacks and defense. So mm. that's awesome. We're excited to be getting that. Um, the uh, other big thing they're trying to do is really make this game more challenging and also add some new rewards. So the Arthurian Archive, the Hellra Citadel Trial, and Dragonstar Arena are all getting improvements in monster difficulty and revamp rewards, which is uh, should be fun. Uh, me and John have not been able to even go do those yet, so we don't know if it's easy or hard, but it's, right. it's good that they're focusing on stuff like that and keeping the game interesting. The introduction to Cyrodiil Town Capture System. Yes, I'm so excited. So for it's this. really cool. This DLC, instead of being a lot of content, it's a lot of cosmetic and game improvement, which is definitely a different mm. style in DLC that Zenimax is doing, and we're both really happy about it. Actually, uh, yeah. player housing will be coming after it, as everyone knows. But it, this, I think, is really good to be adding, and a town capture system will be so cool and so much fun with citizens. Yeah, I always question what happened. To all the people living in. Cyrodiil. Where, where are they? Well, they're going to be coming. Around we're around Cyrodiil fighting, and there's no NPCs. We're going to be seeing them, and it's going to be awesome. We're uh, both super yeah. excited about it. Um, mm -hmm. We got a champion point cap increase, which is insane that they're adding more, but they are. Right. What, 500 wasn't enough? So we're going to be getting more <laughs> points. We're going to be getting more levels to get as a champion. Uh, rebalancing and adjusting the racial passive abilities. Um, I think I, I just from... Like off thought, the high elves are super OP in their passive abilities. Yeah. Um. So that kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I feel like the high elves are supposed to be better. They're always been like the dominant race, so I don't mind them mm. having more magicka. Um. I don't know. Yeah, helps the lore. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I mean, I'm I'm big. Me and John are both big lore buffs. If you watch the streams or anything, we always like to read the books. So um, I don't know. I guess if we'll see how it plays out. Maybe we'll talk about it when it happens. Um, we got improved undaunted reward chests, again gold, silver, Finally. and bronze. But um, that's hilarious. We um, we did that one mission and I got a shield and like a yeah, soul. and we were not happy about it. Uh, improved face effects and animations. They're always improving this, guys. This is always something yeah. they're trying to make look better. Really trying to immerse us in this game. So right. that's fine. Um, new achievements for each of the social scaled trials. Oh, so for those achievement. Cool. out there they'll be getting uh, more stuff just for doing trials we also have uh ongoing Cyrodiil performance improvements which is super like nice just keep improving Cyrodiil and making the pvp more fun keeping it interesting um and then 17 updated older item sets that now drop at champion 160 six available ethereum archive seven available in hellra citadel and four available in the dragon star arena so that'll be cool. So some new, some older item sets are going to yeah, be coming to the new drops, back. which is good. Hopefully improve. I love all those old armors, so that's fine. So there's going to be four new crafting styles, guys. There's going to be Akatosh, Dark Brotherhood, Dramortha, and Minotaur, and even more. So that's really cool that they're adding some new crafting styles. And that actually, guys, about does it for this DLC. Um, yeah. Any final thoughts, John, on what this DLC is bringing? 
Uh, pretty pretty pumped. <laughs> yeah, it's cool that they're adding a lot of stuff in the patch and not as much DLC in the content wise. Right. But to be honest, guys, that's awesome. That we're gonna be getting more difficulty, better rewards, um, some scaling that's definitely needed, and it's just gonna be awesome. We're all excited about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna do it for us guys here at Snowstorm Studios. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or any thoughts about the uh, Shadows of the Hiss DLC, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, check out our Twitch stream, and uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Have a good one. Oh,